son. Let's give thanks to him. Let's worship him. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's glorify our God. God is good and his mercy endure it forever. There's no one that everyone wants to bless. A God that is so for your goodness. Well, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for the ability to sleep and wake up. We give you the gift. We give you adoration of it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Yes, wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are wonderful. We're going to be with you today because you are wonderful. I know you In will. What I way? Will. Amen. We are still going to thank the Lord once again. We are going to give thanks unto the Lord for sustaining us, sustaining our spouse, sustaining our children. God has been so faithful in preserving the life of our sons, in preserving the life of our children. And some of us here, or like Pastor Peter, maybe and the rest, having grown up children, I will travel here and there. God has been so faithful. This evil world, God has been so gracious and so amazing. Let's pray. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for like, also, thank you for your keeping us. Thank you for, the, for my life. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you, Lord, for your preservation, O oh Lord. We exalt you. We worship you. We bless you. Oh Lord, we worship and bless your name for, for your faithfulness and your kindness, O oh Lord. We thank you for your hand upon us. We thank you for your daily provision. We thank you for everything that is made. We exalt you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thanks. Be at your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for the great and the mighty things you'll be doing in our lives. O Lord, you'll be so good. Father God, you have been so good. My Lord, the King, you have been so good. You have been so good unto us. We worship and bless your name. In the name of Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, our prayer this is very strategic, very, very strategic. And uh, as many who are not online, to be good, they are online if they are not busy, because if the prayer is very strategic, and we shall be praying um, against uh, sick, against uh, affliction, against death, against anything negativity in our family, either husband living before the wife or the wife living before her time. All the children dying before their parents know all of those things who are going to attack them. And all the things that will be wanting to take finance from us, thereby we are running Elta Sketa. We are going to deal with them this morning. And there are many of oh God that we have realized that have been captivated by Satan, either wife or husband, going to deliver them even as we call upon them this morning. And so this morning is actually an operation war. Now, as I read in my Bible, I realized that the scripture recorded that the wife of your youth, the wife whom you have married, is the only portion you have here on earth. <clears throat> what does that mean? What that means is that it doesn't mean that you don't have a portion in God to get to heaven. That's not what it's saying. As in for the for the earthly enjoyment here, the scripture also realized and the, as uh, realized that your only portion on earth, uh, here on earth, is that wife of your youth. Not even the education you have, 
not even the the money or the finance he said the wife of your youth that is serious no wonder the devil usually fight families fight marriages godly marriages and the devil tried to distort a lot of that the marriage will not be what it ought to be but this morning some of the misunderstanding that are happening in some home it is not that the man is careless sometimes we could say about that sometimes it's not that the woman is just trying to be stubborn or not submissive sometimes the woman does not understand what she is doing let me give us a scenario very quickly please can you all hear me yes, sir. Yeah. i want mm. to give us i want to give us a scenario uh, a case now there was this uh, movie I saw. Mm -hmm. The title is Spare, Spare, is Spare. Something when they cast spare on someone. And then here is a couple. And the couple happened to be believers. The husband is a Christian, wife is a Christian. But the wife happened to be a career yeah. woman. A woman that, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. she is a woman in a place of work. She travels sometimes. So she doesn't have that time. But she's a Christian. She's a Christian. And the, the husband too is doing well, and also a Christian. And the, but by and by, and the husband is even a deacon in the church. But eventually, there was this lady again in the church who had issue with her husband, so she was not with her husband anymore. And the, but she, they never knew that that lady was an agent of darkness. So she became close to this particular couple. And then, so this wife now, who happened to be a career woman, because she's a friend to this lady in church, maybe they are choir member together and all that. Sometimes can send the lady to go and get something in the market. She will bring it to the house. And all, that's how she has, has it. and then they were assisting her. And they were also praying that her husband will be restored to her. They didn't know that she was, she was not interested in her husband coming back to her. In fact, she told them that no, she does not want, but they didn't know she was on mission to destroy their family. And because that's their plan from their marine world or coven and all that. And that's how she penetrated that family because she was always going to buy things in the market for them. And that one, sometimes, she now know when the wife will not be around. Sometimes she will just come and meet the man at home. One day she made a food for the man and cast a spell. Just something just came out of her eye and entered into the food. And that's how the deacon was eating food and she, he does not know what he was doing. They ended up having an affair that, that in that house without the woman, the wife, the real wife knowing until a time came and the spell was, was out of that deacon. The deacon repented and that's how they began to pray. And the wife that was careless and you know, flip one of the people. She was number. Not knowing that it was a spell that was cast on her. She didn't know why she was doing what she was doing. Even you to give her body, she will not do that. Even to release her body on the she do, she won't do it. Not to tell her husband. But she does not know why she was doing husband. That is the powers of darkness sometimes. And you find it from home. They begin to uh, accuse one another, not knowing that there is an enemy beneath that want to destroy and waste that family. That's why this morning we'll be very angry at those things, those things power. And so as we go before the Lord now, we want to go before God that God will hear us from heaven. The monarch of Zion will hear our prayer today. Whatever that we stand as a barrier, as an obstacle, as a man I call, as an hindrance to our prayer, that the God of heaven will clear it of our lives. The Lord will take it away. All barriers in our lives shall be removed. If there are stains or blemish, if there are spots or wrinkles, if there are impediments, if there are things that can stand as a barrier, if there are things that can stand as an impediment, let the blood of Jesus wash it off this morning, shall we pray. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name. We bring our families before you. Father, we pray that your hand will be mighty upon us. 
You will preserve us from all attack of the enemy. You will keep us from every spear, O oh Lord, because we know that the world we live in is a wicked world. O oh Lord God, now we pray that it is only in you that we have safety. Father, keep us from all evil, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord. we lift up our eyes unto you, unto the hills we want our help. Our help coming from you, O Lord. No, no, this thing is very good. No, no, this thing is very good. No, no, this thing is very good. Let's talk to God, to God in prayer. The Lord will hear all this morning. The monarch of Zion will hear all. The Jehovah will hear all. Before we intervene in our situation this morning, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray for people on the platform, pastors and leaders and members, and all the members on the platform who are having financial constraint, and it is not ordinary. And some people may say, What kind of prayer is that? Yeah, there are people that what they are going to financially is not even ordinary. The devil will want to do that to subject them to a situation that they can have no time with, for God, and then before you know it, backsliding can set in. We want to pray that as many who are financially broke, completely broke, and, and things are not just working well. The devil is blocking them from every end. We want to pray that the God of heaven will deliver them from the orchestration and manipulation of the devil. They will come out of that state. They will come out of that situation. They will come out of that state. Are we praying? Let's talk to God in prayer. They will come Lord, out of that state. Lord, the of in that the you name of the finance, the Lord of Jesus, that the evil will not be able to double into our finances, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, every devil that wants to come in to our finances to pray that you take them away, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up to you. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will visit our finances, O oh Lord. Father, visit us finances, O oh Lord. We call our finances the blood of Jesus. We declare that they will not be able to attack our finances, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. The second section are those people that are the wife always sick or the husband is always sick. I want to pray right now and tell the Lord. There was a sister uh, who chatted me off, and our own case was that the husband was uh, was adulterous, and uh, before you know it, I think the husband was now having all this sexual kind of uh, disease and all that, which the woman started to do herself too. You can see now, it was the man that went to bring rubbish and now to have inflicting such in the wife and all that. And how to cancel the woman on some issues and all of that. Yeah, she's on our platform here. I want to pray and tell the Lord, as many like who are having sickness and they have any issues like that, you know, husband is sick, wife is sick, or wife is sick, or husband is sick, and all those things, let the Lord deliver them from sickness, let the Lord liberate them from the power that is for a victim. sickness, we pray that you will have mercy upon them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, now we are praying that your hands or might of all them will heal them, deliver them, O oh Lord. If the sickness is ill caused by their carelessness or by their stupidity, we pray, O oh Lord, and in place of what I will have mercy, O Lord. I will have mercy, O Lord. Heal your people, O Lord. You will have good health. It's a process of Christ. In the name of Jesus. For my miracle. We pray. I want to pray for our pastors and leaders, men of God, who are having terminal disease, terminal sickness. Yes, I have one of my good pastor. He's no longer a good pastor anyway. He's not even in the state again. They moved him to uh, his state of origin. 
because of this illness in particular. And this thing has become an issue among the people now that this issue of kidney, kidney, kidney. And then for some, maybe they have liver problem. For some, is cancer and the rest. We're going to pray all these terminal sicknesses and all of that. As many of our brethren who are going to search, either on the platform, in our district, in our group, or region, the God of heaven will deliver them. You find out that if a man is sick, let's say for one year, and the wife is taking care of that man. I hope we know that there are times that the woman will be crying and crying and say, what is all this? Even if she's a Christian, she can be tired at a point. Tired in a sense that she will just feel tired. She might not feel of divorce anyway, no, but tired of all the pain, all the excruciating trauma and all of that, that she's going through. And now for a whole year, for two, three years, not that maybe the man is 80 years or very old, and the woman will be feeling lonely. The, the husband not touching her and all of that. And the man is just uh, bedridden and all that. So we have them like that all around. Who want to pray? Supernatural and we reach out to their wives. Supernatural and reach out to their husband. As many who are sick, God will deliver them from the sickness. Please let's pray. Kind of healing with that honor. Father, we pray that that which is beyond us, not upon us, God, unto us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we commit our families, O Lord, O Lord, that you help us, O Lord, give us the grace. I want to be free from all illnesses, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us be free from all illnesses. I get you free from all illnesses. Oh God, I will pray you God unto us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Good head will be our portion. My wife not. Sick, I will not be sick. Our children will not be sick. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My children, every arm against them that not be running elder skater. Maybe while you are in your house, they just call you. They will not call you for anything negative. They will Amen. not call uh, 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 look at it or look at it, look at what happened. It will not be on record that your husband will just call you on the road and say, uh, my wife, look at what happened. Oh, and uh, my wife, look at what happened. My husband, look at, God forbid, want to pray and tell the Lord that the God of heaven will supernaturally shield our children from spiritual sickness, from physical sickness, and for all kinds of messages, shall we pray? Use your power to see them, to see them, preserve them, keep them from all attacks of the enemy. O Lord, in the name of Jesus, I do it in the life of our children, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, as from above. Father, I pray that unto them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Bless you, God bless you, Lord, O oh Lord. Bless you, Lord, your hands upon us. Amen. Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray and tell the Lord very quickly. We're going to look up to God in prayer and ask the Lord at this time. We have people who have been married and they are expecting and they are looking and they are looking and the scriptures of the land of the land shall not say I'm sick. Yeah, they are they must say I am sick. Okay, we have prayed on that one, and then they are shall not be married in the land, says the word of God. And we have people who have been married two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, even twenty years. 
and even more than 20 years, and yet no issue. There was never a time that the wife was pregnant. There was never a time that the wife even had anything, pregnancy, or want to pray. That God, in heaven, even if the fallopian tube of the woman has been taken away, even if the womb has been removed, there will be supernatural miracle, supernatural of God. We create that. A baby will develop in that womb. They will have their children. Every home needs children. Every home needs children. Every home needs a seed. The scripture talks about godly seed in Malachi. God said so that they will raise up a godly seed. Do you know one of the reasons he brings a godly woman and a godly man together is to raise godly seed? I can read that in scripture. It's there in scripture. It's there in Malachi. God said he wants to raise a godly seed. Who want to pray, this one, they will also have their godly seed. They will have their godly seed. Let's talk to God. That the God of heaven will give them their own children, their own godly seed. Shall we pray? Out of godly seed is all that they do, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. to come and uh, greet me for baby and all that just uh, on Saturday here. And this brother in particular, when I traveled with him, <laughs> one other person, and we traveled to, okay, no, when we traveled to, for his burial, rather, and then we got home. It was very shocking when he showed me his younger brother and the younger brother, ha, and that one having a son that has even traveled abroad and his own younger brother. And uh, then I, it dawned on me that our brother is very old, very old. And uh, his own younger brother, his son, already grown up boy that have even traveled abroad. And uh, so I was not one, this is, this is it's an issue. And he's the eldest among them, having a lot of siblings. And yet, it's yet to be married. It's yet to have a wife. And yet, on the way we were talking, you know, I, I, I understand. I'm a man, so I understand. Whether pastor or no pastor, or Christian or no Christian, I know how the, 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 the temptations can be wired and all of that. And then, so we were just discussing. And himself agreed, and he admitted that, yes, yeah, it is not actually easy. Yes, he's a leader in the church. Yeah, I it's not easy and all of the things, loneliness and all that. And so we have many of them like that in the district and in the group and regions. We want to beg God. God. The scripture says it is not good for a man to be alone. And uh, some of them, they have crossed even 40, and yet nothing is going forward. God will show them mercy. I was speaking with this. That the God, he opened the and yes, life partners due to one thing or the other. Father, we pray that you will visit them, O oh Lord. Father, you said it is not good for a man to be alone. You look at Adam, he was of age, and yet he was alone. You claim when he has no feeling, when he has no idea that he could get to what you gave him. If, O oh Lord, God, we pray, continue. 
Brother but by your, if you are high, we pray that you remember in everything that is causing agents before him. Father, we pray that you take away, O Lord. Please take away, O Lord. Please take away, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's go now, everything is in this today, O Lord. This is the area of this. Money, this is the area of this. We pray. O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, there are some of them, they are likely to be under a yoke. And maybe in the, they are coming from, or in the village they are coming from, something has been pronounced, something has been declared you. You will be missing all your life and all that. And maybe some of them, they don't even know how to go about some things, how to wage wars and all of that. And they just commonize some pronouncements that were made on them. I want to pray right now and tell the Lord and say, Father, as many that they are being single, it's not ordinary. Let the Lord deliver them now from the curse or the yoke or whatever they have done. And you know, there are people that it could be that their father have done something or they themselves have done something while they were in the world. And they declare to the pronouncement. Like we find people who rape children. You know, they will just rape children like that and cause them pain. All these pedophiles, they go around raping children, defiling young children, and some of the children will just cry and cry and lay a curse on maybe the, the rapists or the pedophiles and say, okay, your own daughters will be like they, your own children will be like they, and then they will wave it aside. They will think it's a joke. They will think it's nothing. And then by and by, they think begin to work against them in the future. We want to pray. The Bible says a costless shall not come. A cost costless shall not come. It, there cannot be an effect, uh, an effect of a cost on a man without a cost. That's what he's saying. A cost costless, it will not come. We want to pray right that the God will deliver those who are under a curse, working under a curse, under a closed heaven. And things have just they are any kind of cause that is making them not to be seen by other people, that's making them not to be able to get that person as but I will pray all the other things but the whole world in the name of Jesus. Sister from so this is that from a bullet that will look forward to your hand. We pray that you any any veil that the enemy has put on her that makes people not to look at her. Father, we pray and take away that veil this morning. Father, take away that veil this morning. Father, take away that veil this morning. And deliver and connect her, O Lord. We marry, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, question name, we pray. Amen. We go on in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray that prayer again. Um, you know, some of our people in the church, they don't believe things like this. And so they don't even believe in warfare. They don't believe in praying, some prayers, some prayers, and prayer, and and all that. It's a pity for some that they don't believe in warfare. It's a very serious pity. Now, a sister was telling me again, I've been very concerned about how, how she's still single at this age. And she's very hardworking sister, very hardworking. But I faced this uh, having issue uh, until I got to understand that the reason I faced it, it was an accident. I thank God she didn't claim her life. But she was telling me before that accident, uh, after that accident, nobody was really coming as such. Nobody was coming. I think the only person that approached her, she got a very clear uh, directive from God that that's not the person. I, I can even understand with that because I know what's, what is wrong with the person now. Yeah, exactly. So she was telling me last week or uh, some time ago, even last week we still talk, that the people that are coming are just unbeliever. And she cannot settle down with an unbeliever. And those unbeliever, they don't care. They can say they will sleep with you before they even marry you, all those kind of things. So brethren are not coming like that and all that. And I, I guess, you know, some were like, oh, because of this face. And so I didn't want her to be depressed. I believe God will settle her, whether 
uh, there's something on her face or whatever. It was an accident. She was not born like that. And on her hand, like that. So, no condition. There are people who don't say something, and that's how they will avoid. They don't even care whether this is a God fearing sister, and this is a African sister, this is an amazing sister who is serving God faithfully. What they want to, even if God speak to them about that sister, they will just want to go their way. I say, God, this is not the one I want, and all that. So, we find a lot of carnality in this uh, issue of uh, praying for the will of God in marriage and all that. I want to say, like, I saw a short movie. In that short movie, what happened? There was this lady who was, uh, you know, I learned a lot from some of these things, a lot. And uh, some of these, uh, this lady, she was praying for the will of God. So, she was expecting marriage, rather. And then when somebody approached her, they will, why they are talking with her like that? Her face will change to an old woman. But she is not aware that she is carrying uh, the face of old woman whenever a brother approach her. So the brother will just, as they are talking to her like this, they see old woman face again. They will just disappear. They will not come again. That's the end of the relationship. And then she will start another one again. And then before you know, the brother can be talking to her like this. The face will just change again to old woman face. She never knew they were manipulating her destiny, her future, and all that until she went to meet the man of God. And why the she was the man of God was the man of God saw it. And then that's how that yoke was broken. You needed to see how brothers were were not disturbing my God. If I, even the one that ran away, they were not calling. One said, no, nah, no, nah, it's time to marry her. No, 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 no. If I it was I rushed, rushed us. So she later now realized that truly, truly she had been under bondage. There are people like that under serious bondage. They would think it's not married. They would think it's the will of God for them to be 40 before they marry. It's not will of God, though. It's not will of God anything. There are people that they have been 40, 45, 50 years before they marry. It's not will of God. Yes, some we understand, yes, that there are things happening to them and we understand God is aware. But some is not ordinary. So let's go to the Lord in prayer now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we destroy every spirit that the enemy has had on anyone, any brother, any sister. Every spirit that the enemy has cast upon them, we destroy them this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we pray that your hand will be mighty upon our young ones, so that uh, of okay, but yet nobody is coming with pray. God in prayer. Died, an accident and the face is one time. Father, we pray, oh Lord, you created that you knew about the accident. Father, we pray that the person that we love and that we care for, that we cherish her, that bring before our way, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray. Name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to pray for our wives and husbands. Accidents will be far from us. Death will be far from us. Husband, we pray for the wife. Wife for the wife. Wife for the wife. Wife for the wife. And also pray for yourself. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing. Come on, leave this wife early. Delivered me. Show my wife. Yeah. It's the noise. Father, we pray that you will stretch forth your hand of mercy, Lord. Stretch forth your hand of mercy upon my wife, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Because in as if I command you, get out from your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I go up on Saturday. I was going for a wedding. And uh, yes, I had left I had left the house already for the wedding. And uh, I did not even drive. I boarded the uh, tricycle. So I was on the express route going for the wedding. 
And then before I knew it, all I just knew was I sat in between two passengers. So one by my left, one by my right. So I was at the center. Before I knew a GLK Jeep on that express like this just hit us. And then that's how my psychiatry fell down. And the thing just told in fact, glass, the team broke everywhere. Just it was, it was, it was. It was a something else on the express road. Another vehicle probably would have just climbed on us and all of that. And so the glass everywhere just broke, broke in the roof, the up there, and all that. So I, how I came out of that keke with uh, just little bruises on my hand, it just a miracle. You know, my hand, yes, I saw something on my hand, which is still here. So I had to do treatment. But that would have led to a complete either cutting of leg, cutting of hand, death, and all that. But God prevented me and prevented other passengers. One of the passengers was badly injured and he was rushed to the hospital immediately there because it was a very serious issue. So, and they, but the Lord preserved all of us and they not allow that to lead to our death. I am, we are praying this, we will not die but live. You will not lose your husband. Your husband will be alive. You will not lose your wife. Your wife will be alive. And so we are praying that agent of death that will take the life of our spouse away this year, it is buried in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 118 verse 17, the scripture says categorically that we will not die but live. You will not die but live. Our pastors will not die but live. Our members will not die but live. Our children will not die but live. They will not die of accident. We will not die of anything evil. We will not die of any manipulation of the enemy. We will not die of any glory of the evil one. We will not die of anything negative. Let's talk to God in prayer. That the hand of God is Lastly, I want to pray right now and tell the Lord that as many who are having issues with their spouse and there is no proper cordial relationship, let the Lord begin to bring an end to that. And every agent of darkness that is bringing misunderstanding, bringing conflict, bringing all of those things, let the Lord destroy those power. Pastor Peter, you have first hand of this session as we call on Pastor Matthew. Father, we bless your special name for the great things you will do in our lives. Father, we pray that you are full. Father, this father that is in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name. First of all, for the gift of life. Oh, we thank you for your grace upon us that we are able to raise our hands thank and you. move around, get off our bed. It's a miracle. We say glory, honor, adoration, thanks give be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you for the preservation of his life. Okay. We exalt your name for I am also using this morning to also pray for our families again. And we pray that every request we have raised this morning, Father, you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We commit our families into your hand. We pray that our wives will not be sick. Our wives will not need problem. Nothing will happen to any of our children. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We also pray for ourselves. Father, we pray that you preserve us. That we will not die before our time. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Father, we lift up our brothers and our sisters that are over aged, are due to marry, but yet their body is coming because of one thing or the other. We pray, O oh Lord, every spear that the enemy has cast upon any of them, Father, destroy it and restore them back and give them their own partners, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For that sister that uh, because of accident, now she's like deformed in her face and nobody is coming except the unbeliever that you want to use her and don't Father, we pray that you will open heaven and give her her own bone of her bone and flesh of her flesh in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord in heaven, we pray like uh, Pastor said, uh, he watched a movie that uh, when people are talking to the sister, they will see an old woman. Yeah, the enemy is wicked, he does things like that. Father, we pray that anyone that the devil has cast a spear upon, that at, uh, at every time people want to talk to them, or even maybe they're even going on the road and uh, maybe they Somebody is supposed to meet them and talk to them, but by the time the person is seeing them, he's seeing something else. Father, we pray that you destroy every finger of the wicked and set your children free so that they will meet their partners, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord God, now we pray for our pastor once again, total healing from above. We pray Amen. and grant upon him, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wife and the children, we pray that you uphold them. Help our sister. Us. At this time, we know she just put to bed. And we thank you for not making her to cry. We pray that your mercy will continue to abide upon that family mightily, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We lift every one of us before you, Father. We pray that you will uphold us. You will open heaven for us, provide for us. Even at this time of scarcity, oh Lord, go in heaven, you will provide for all your own in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not forget to pray for our nation, Nigeria. We pray that as the new government has taken charge, you will take charge, oh Lord, and help them to appoint the right people that will make things work out for this nation, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're doing today, today the first working day of the week. We pray that you lead and guide us, O Lord. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for the answer Thank prayers, O Lord. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, I, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord will continue to be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. And we will continue to cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you will you reach your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. all the plan of devil, all the agenda of devil, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you shall prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. You are yeah. people in uh in everything you will uh reap with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will reap with you in the name of Jesus Christ. You yeah. will not on any one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. You that yeah. were planted by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will reap it in Jesus' name. Your yeah. glory will not go into the grave with you in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory shall have assist and then before your years on the on this act in the name of Jesus Christ and by Amen. the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we move from strength to strength in the name of Jesus Christ. All Amen. these things that is happening, it will be a ladder to the progress for testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall Amen. it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that Pastor Femi join us at last, but I've decided that we will call on Pastor Yomi. Uh, this is the time of open check. We want you to present yourself before the anointed people of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of the anointed is born and it will never be wasted in Jesus' name. Uh, we want you to mention to us whatever you want us to pray for. It's individual as a family, 
uh, and then as we are praying, December is the ultimate target. You too will have testimony with every one of us in Jesus' name. Uh, we Amen. want to uh, check. We want you to present whatever you want us to pray for, and then we shall pray for you, Pastor Peter. Once again, ready to round up with uh, well after the prayer. Thank you, Lord. Uh, my prayer point uh, is uh, is is this. By the grace of God, I, God has been faithful in my work. So I want God to expand me the more. Already, I'm already having a client, is a, a student I teach in the UK. But it's not just that. A little person has also reached me from Canada. And uh, number one, I want God to increase my YouTube channel. I've cost 1,000 subscribers already now. Then number two, wow. the website is already almost at the completion so i'll be paying for the hosting soon so that the website can be ready people can reach me all over the world then number three is just generally impact on the young people i have passion serious passion on young people because people wonder ah, you study engineering how come you are just teaching and teaching and teaching there are different reasons i teach okay so recently some people that uh, for interview for a drilling a company whether his friend and all that well i was reluctant to send my cv then on a few days uh, uh about a day or two i now called the person and told the person the reason i was reluctant some of the reason i was reluctant to send my cv to him he was i'm very sure he was shocked when i was downloading a lot of things to him so he now understood so no reason why i'm in the teaching online and all that. So my is not just because uh, it does not have uh, something it can do and all that. No. My is more or less like a calling. And uh, lives have been imparted even as much as I'm making money out of it. And by the grace of God, so I see hope to impart more lives all over the world. So that's my prayer. Thank you. Praise the Lord. You call upon the name of the, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God we enlarge his coast in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouths. Let's call up the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. Let's call up on the name of the Lord. You know, when you have a mission, a vision is a lot of things. Look at our GS. The vision there was just uh, about the 15 or about the 15 member. Now let me be teaching them Bible. And then little by little, the vision growth. There was exploded of, of miracles, exploded of uh, of the of, of, of a miracle from stadium and in, 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 in Lagos. From there, you know, the future started growing. We have the SF. From there, we have the SEO. From there, we have uh, we have uh, uh, LFS. Yeah, we have churches all over the world. From yes, there, we have the ZK. This is the kind of future we are we are calling we are talking about. How the mission started, the mission is expanded. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will grant the effort of our brother in the name of Jesus Christ. How to achieve the vision, how to continue to go forward. Those people who are going to help him in the ministry, those people who are going to support him in, the, in, in his ministry, those people who are going to support him in his work, those people who are going to be with him in his work, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to send him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That in Himself, by the power of the blood, God will God will raise His hand up in the name of Jesus Christ. In His profession, in His in everything he lay his hand, hand upon. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty oh, God is going to help me in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall I be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are talking about vision. And then we have, I'm, I'm seeing him by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We are by he will ask his own office, very big office, and the Amen. people will be coming and they will be directing them that how how, 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 how about the how about the uh, this session. 
oh, okay, can you please give me the report? Then it will come to the main administrator. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, it will not relent. That's how God is going to do it in, in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. And mm -hmm. then you can look at the, the kind of the, the ministry we have. Recently, I told us I was driving. I can send the, 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 the video. The only thing that I didn't start feeding the woman immediately. And as I was driving, my children were there. One woman, one woman just told me, stop me, with her shoe. It just, it just, I saw your pastor. I saw your pastor. He was in the big crowd. In the big crowd. I saw your pastor. I, <laughs> these people that they, 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 GS never, I doubt it. I, 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 I mean, I know, I know he must have heard about Charlotte Wee. When I say, I, I, you know what I understand? This is a person in the United States, a woman. I can send you the little are able to record about, about, about. Uh, so, what am I saying? God send the right people to him to lift him up in the ministry. He will call mm. upon the name of the Lord. Mm. As our brother is establishing that the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the right people that will be lifting him up in his work in the ministry, God will send them to him in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's the grace of the Lord. You know, many people are the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. God give them a run. Yes, he need money for the for the hosting of this thing. I don't know how much, uh, maybe about $150 or something like that. But in Nigeria money, the hosting is $150. So, so something like that can let one be fearful. Uh, can let one be fearful. But we call upon the name of the Lord. That in all areas he needs financial aid. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, those people who are going to raise the aid. You know, I, 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 I want to talk to you about, uh, about Pastor Dada. Come and see the church here, how big the church is. The man has gone to Philippine again. Just with it, I don't think it's up to a year. The man has gone and done that building. Come go and see how big the building is on the name of deeper life. And this is the kind of people we are seeing. GS, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry to say this when I'm saying this. I just, okay, go to Asia. I want to send you to Asia. Uh, and even if you cannot go send to somebody, that person, I, 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 GS is sending me a iran And this may be secret too, but I don't know. Because you only blame me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. How can I? I, I, why can I reject that? And the man went. My dear brother, if you see the work the God has been doing there in Philippine. So you call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of the right people that God will use for the glory of Pastor uh, Yomi Omarewa. And then the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding he need. Look at Solomon. He didn't do God, God, God given the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he expanded. He expanded the expire. The Bible let us know, knowing the a time of Solomon, there was a peace throughout. He called upon the name of the Lord that God will give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Everything he, he will not tire. Little thing will not, will not take him off. That, oh, it seems like this thing will not work. It will work. 
and it can work. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, God will establish him in wisdom, learning, and understanding, and the right people that will write him uh, that will help him in the work, God will send to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call mm-hmm. upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord on, on his behalf that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, oh my Father is going to surprise him with the right, with the human resources, with financial resources he needs. And Almighty God is going to lift his head up in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, once again, we thank you for our beloved brother, your son, your servant. We exalt your name for all we are hearing. Father, we are happy that you are enlarging this coast. Oh Lord, we pray. This is just the beginning. Father, between now and December, that you are set as a target, O Lord, you will put testimonies in the mouth of your son, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are praying. Already said, over 1,000 are subscribed to his YouTube page, and now he's having uh, contacts in abroad, far and near. Father, we pray that even within, we have ministers, we have governors, we have uh, top people in this nation that also we need their children to be coached. Oh Lord, we pray that you enlarge the course of your son, that more and more you give unto him clients that will lift his head up in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that wonders will not cease in his family. You continue to help him that as this client are expanding, that he himself will expand to the point that he will become a great uh, tutor that the world will be seeking for in Jesus' name. Amen. All the resources that he needs to establish well. Father, I pray you provide for him, you grant unto him, you open doors for him, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, pray you continue to keep him and his family. You continue Amen. to preserve them. You continue Amen. to do wonders that people will be asking, how are you doing it in Jesus' name? Amen. Like we started with our Father and the Lord, with just 15 people. And he was he didn't say they were too small, but he started faithfully with them. He started working with them. Today now, that 15 has become millions all over the world. Father, oh Lord, go now we pray okay. that after you have started with your son, oh Lord, go now you will also help him to expand him to the point that the world will be seeking after him, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Worship and bless on you because you know you've answered us. Amen. Glory, honor, adoration, and thanks be unto your name. Amen. My December, oh Lord, we are waiting for a testimony. We pray that every one of us also at this testimonies will not elude us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, oh Lord. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor, you share your YouTube, share your website, share it among the pastors. It will not be good. Maybe the people of the world know your, your website, they know your YouTube channel, and we seem like we care less, or it is from you that we do not know. So please make that correction. Maybe you share it on the platform, uh, pastor uh, platform. So that they, uh, yeah, they will be able to be sharing it uh, with you. Go with us in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. The grace, the grace of God, Jesus Christ, the, the, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Goodness and mercy is not to us through the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the arms of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pastor Mark, honor your request in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'd like to talk to you privately. Okay. Uh, you can call me now. 
Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hello, is that good? I'm a car. I rule our bow in our own moment. Mongo, Mongo,
Quick, 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 please. Hold two. Are you through? Thank you. Hold oh, all, 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 all three. Okay, okay. thank you. All four. Quick, 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 Divine, Divine visitation tonight. Praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. I said, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Your freedom, your, freedom, your recovery, your healing, your miracle has now come. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Challenge. Don't wait for Don't wait me for to mention the problem. problem. You, you mention the problem yourself. yourself. Tell, Tell the Lord. Lord. The, the man, man said that, that I might receive my, my sight. Whatever sickness you have, whatever miracle you need, tell the Lord that I might receive my healing. That my limp legs may have strength that my blind eyes might open, that the earlier might vanish away, that the swelling might vanish away, that the miracle of being able to stand erect with all the waist pain gone, that that might happen, that my brain problem might vanish away. Whatever the problem, resolve that hand now, and as we mention the name of Jesus, and you hear the final amen, your miracle has arrived. Are you ready? Father, we thank you and bless your name. We thank you because we know you love everyone. Christ Jesus, you died on the cross to save us, to set us free, and to heal every sickness in our bodies and therefore lord i present everyone before you whatever infirmity whatever disease whatever ailment touch them heal them in jesus name everyone everywhere that that divine healing miracle walking power will come upon everyone right now set them free relieve them of every pain take those incurable diseases away I pray that the mountain of incurable infirmity that have been there for a long time, mountain, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray upon everyone to the right, to the left, at the back, and the front, on this ground, anyone that is sick, online, over the television, over the radio, everywhere, bring healing to everyone now deliverance to everyone now miracle power upon everyone now lord confirm it it is done in jesus name i pray the lord has done it check up check up check up the cancer the tuberculosis the evil thing and that plague is gone right now we've mentioned the name of jesus that name is above every name you are healed delivered in jesus name welcome sir are you there for a miracle for power manifestation. 
Tonight is a special night for you. And the Lord will satisfy everyone, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Something great, unprecedented, is coming your way. God will wipe away all your tears. Take away all your sorrow and crush every sickness out of your life. Here and there, tonight, something great is happening. Let me see your hand. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. You are the God that cannot fail. Your power cannot fail. I pray that tonight, great, wonderful, Marvelous things will happen in everyone's life in Jesus' name. Why all the tears away? Change everything changeable. Lord, I pray the impossible will be possible tonight. Incredible miracles. Supernatural deliverance coming upon everyone tonight. Confirm it, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. I just like to hear your voice again. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we come to Matthew chapter 6. And tonight, we're looking at verse 10. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Thy Kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When there is a kingdom, there is a king. And the attributes of the king will pass on to the kingdom. The king, the kingdom of power. The kingdom, the kingdom of power. The king. It's a king of majesty and a kingdom, the majestic kingdom. The king is an unfailing king, and a kingdom is a kingdom that cannot fail. The king is the all in all, and a kingdom has all that you need. Tonight, it will satisfy you. With all that you need in Jesus' name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Look, look at verse 33 there. Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Great blessings from heaven. Add that to your life tonight. Great manifestation of power manifested in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things, all things, all these things shall be added unto you. Today, there's addition in your life. You know, sometimes when I say, you want to come to Christ, raise up your hand there. Some people, they don't understand. They think if they raise up their hands, if they give themselves to Christ, that something will be subtracted out of their lives. Uh -uh. You missed the point. Addition is coming. Multiplication is coming. When you seek the king, and you seek the kingdom, and you seek the righteousness of the king and of the kingdom, addition of blessing, addition of benefits, addition of goodness, addition of miracle, addition of supernatural wonders, addition of supernatural deliverance will come your way in Jesus' name. 
now. There are some people that think all that kind of raise up your hand. Believe on the Lord Jesus. They say it's for young people. Uh -huh. You didn't get the point. Everyone that wants addition, addition of blessing, addition of miracle, addition of salvation, addition of the good things of heaven is meant for everyone. It's not only children. It's not only teenagers. It's not only middle-aged people. Even the people that are old and old and old, they need addition in their life. 